All right, guys, so today what we're going to do is we're going to start with the install on the Indian Challenger of the Stage 1 air intake. So here, as you can see, we will replace the air intake, but it's right here, with the one that is going for the Power Plus Stage 1. Benefits of this is more air will come to the engine, and obviously that will allow a better combustion, which means that the power will be um, increased once you complete the stage one. I believe the power increase is 5%, so that's going to be around 10 to 12 um, uh, horsepower. Um, so the increase is not huge, but it does, you know, help. So two things, this is basically done in two stages. Stage number one, um, it, well, step number one is we will have to replace the um, <clears throat> the air intake. And step number two is with every product that you buy from Indian motorcycles, so for stage one, stage uh, one for the exhaust and stage two, there's a card that comes in it with a code. That code needs to be used by your dealership in order to remap the ECU and change the ratio of oxygen or gas to be uh, injected into your engine for combustion. But for that, you need to first install it, then you need to go to the dealer. And with that code, you, they will be able to uh, tune your tune your um, your bike correctly so that combustion can be optimal. So the thing that we're gonna do right now is we actually gonna do uh, we're gonna install the air intake. Then we will go with the stage one on the exhaust, and uh, once we complete that, we will go to the dealer. We'll give him the card that has the code. He will enter that code in his computer and we'll plug it in directly on the on the on the motorcycle and will allow to uh, download the mapping. So let's start first with the installation and we will take it from there. All right, so this is the sound before any kind of modification that we will do on the engine. Overall total, we will do stage one uh, air intake, stage one exhaust. But we will also do stage two on the Indian, which is the cams that will need to be changed. So first, we're going to start with stage one. But here, for the purpose of this video, is I want to make sure that we record when we turn on the motorcycle so you can hear what's the difference on the sound. Because the performance, obviously, you will be able to, uh, you won't pro necessarily be able to test the performance, but at least you can see the sound. So here, this is the motorcycle completely stock, no stage added. So, so need of stock. Step number one, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the cover. So we're going to unscrew these three screws right here and we're going to take the cover off. Now, what we're going to do is uh, here near the canister, you're going to have one screw right there, another screw at the bottom, and then one screw right here. So we're going to remove those three. Once you remove the canister with the bracket, what you will do is uh, you will remove these two little connectors that were connected to the to the hose and un unzip so there's a zip tie that comes right there here you can cut that zip tie and then there's a little switch on the back this white tab right here you need to disconnect that as well in order to remove it Ora, well on this side what we're going to do is we're just going to remove the cover now, the next step is we're actually going to remove this plastic cover on the left. So that's the plastic cover that we will remove. So for that, flat screw here to remove the pin, flat screw here to remove the pin. Once that is complete, what we're going to do is we're going to get on this left side and we're going to remove this little screw right here. 
Now on the kit, what we're gonna do is um, when you open the box, you will have a couple of items that you will be able to see. So number one, we're gonna search for, so not for this one, up, oh, give it a second, it's moving a little bit. These are the assembly parts that we will need. Here and right here. These two are the one that we will need. We're gonna put them together with uh, the little clips here and should look something like this, uh, where uh, you can see here, it's a little bit on the both, on two, on this end, you're gonna have the one that have like the male and then on the other ones, you will have the females. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this assembly, come here on the left side and then we're gonna make it through the little gap here and put it on the other side, right there. And this should be on your left side. There. What we'll do next is these holes that they come here, so the one that it's, uh, it's um, here, um, uh, which one is this one? This one is the tank vent line, which is this one, goes to the one that has uh, a little curvature here. So, and then here, the second one, which is the tank vent, I believe, uh, no, the purge vent, goes to the one that it's a little bit more curvy and slightly different so you do this one will go here and the other one goes right there good now what we will need to do now is we will need to adapt the cover of the vent in order to have the canister to fit so to do so it's really easy take it the other side like so and what you will need to do is basically follow this line straight all the way to here to the bottom and then from here, we're gonna cut right here. So basically this piece that I'm putting my finger on is gonna need to be gone. So what I did is I took my cutter, I don't know if you, you, can, you can see it, but I mark it right there. And then from here, I mark it all the way here. So what I'm gonna do now is cut that specific part. So there we go. I just did the cut right here. It wasn't too complicated. Makes it an angle. Now uh, this part is ready. Now, what we will do now is we will take the bracket that comes on the kit and the smaller black screw that comes in the kit as well. This one will be used here is going to be the one that will come into the cover. Um, and then this will actually come here to the bracket right there. So this will come right around here to that part of the engine. So that's where the canister will be placed now. It will be something like this. So you will be able to put uh, this right here. So the bracket, it's gonna be on the left side right here. It's not gonna move. So here you don't have a lot of room to actually tie it all up. So I did my best with my hand. So now that we put this, what you need to do is just slide our um, little canister inside the bracket and put it in. So plug all the little uh, holes that are underneath. Just make sure that those are correctly plugged in. Once that is done, we're going to pass to the other side. Now that we've completed this side, what we're going to do is just reinstall the fan cover and the cover over there and we're good to go on this on this side at least this we completed the work on the left side so one of the things that i don't like to be honest is that on the left side is gonna hide the engine love the beautiful engine that the indian has so one of the things that i don't like is is that is the fact that this block is hiding the engine so that's one of the reason i don't really like it but um you know it does the job we gain power it's sturdy it's there not moving this side is complete now we will be able to move on to the right side and put the car
Well, simply we're gonna go under the tank and then you will be able to see that little part over there. We're gonna remove that. Quite of a, of a tight fit to be honest, but um, everything is uh, looking good. Uh, there's a little hook that I was able to put it in and then this cable right here needs to go on the hook that you have in that adapter. Uh, probably don't can't, can't see it. It's it's a little bit tight, but it's doable. If not, what I recommend is you can actually just remove the tank and you should be good to go. Um, but yeah, now what we're gonna do is just put the screw back and then we can move to the next next part. All right, once you secure with the screw again and put this cover, now we're gonna go to the next step, <clears throat> which is putting this cover right here so that's what we're gonna put now so first we're gonna need to open it and then screw it in order to make it fit over there with this part right there once we put the, and the little tube and the and the plastic uh base what we're gonna do is we're just gonna screw with the washers that comes for uh with the box with the kit one two and then three right here Put the washers in, put the screws in, make sure that everything is tied up. Once everything is tight, we're gonna lock here the little belt and we can actually go through now installing the filter. All right, now that we've done that, what we're gonna do is there's a lid or like a seal that comes with it and we're gonna put that into place. Um, and uh, from there we will put the covers, but first we need to put this into place and we put the covers right after. Now that we've put the front cover, uh, we are gonna put the back, make sure that we screw completely those two tights, uh, those two screws right here. And now we're just gonna put the last little cover. Oh. And screw it on the back. All right guys, so the installation is complete. All the hardware is actually installed, as you can see. Now it has the stage one air intake already in. Now the next step is going to be really easy. You need to bring the bike to a dealer. The dealer will um, install the code that you get on, on the box. So on the box, there's a little card that you will get that has a customized and specific code for that air, the, for the air intake. And that's the one that they're gonna need to install. So for that, they will plug in your bike, enter the code and remap the bike with that specific code. So as you can see now, it have the stage one for the air intake. And now you can bring it to the dealer, they will install the mapping and everything should be good. So as you can see, it looks it looks nice honestly i'm gonna be honest i do like more the original cover but with this you're gonna have a gain of power that will allow you to you know gain a little bit more power have a little bit more fun so that's an advantage so that's the reason i got it to be honest so make sure you subscribe if you want to see uh, more videos coming up we are going to do next the install of the exhaust for stage one as well we're going to do the exhaust and that's going to be the next install so make sure you follow the, the channel um, for the next indian video as well where we're going to be installing the exhaust on this beast